The bizarre truth about Cleopatra. Did you know that Cleopatra, one of history's most famous queens, was not only the product of incest, but also a cunning linguist who spoke several languages? Stick around to uncover more bizarre truths that will shatter your perceptions of her. Welcome to Freaky Facts, history's oddities, the show that takes you on a fascinating journey through history's hidden corners, unearthing truths you never knew existed. Today, we're journeying back to ancient Egypt to unravel the complex tapestry that is Cleopatra, a figure far more intricate than the Hollywood depiction of a great beauty or ruler. The product of incest. Let's kick off by diving deeper into our opening teaser. Cleopatra was a product of incest. While this may seem unsettling by today's standards, such unions were commonplace within royal families of ancient times, not just in Egypt, but also in places like Rome and Greece. The reason? To preserve the bloodline and maintain a grip on power. Cleopatra's lineage was no different. Her family, the Ptolemaic dynasty, had a long-standing tradition of intermarriage. Her own parents were likely brother and sister, a union that was perhaps more about political necessity than romantic affection. And Cleopatra herself followed this tradition by marrying both of her adolescent brothers during her reign, a practice that was essential for her to maintain her grip on the throne. The Greek Connection Contrary to popular belief, Cleopatra was not an Egyptian by birth. In fact, she hailed from a line of Greek rulers known as the Ptolemaic dynasty. Her ancestors seized control of Egypt after the death of Alexander the Great and ruled for nearly 300 years. Fluent in Greek and adorned in Greek fashion, Cleopatra was a living testament to her lineage. But she wasn't just a figurehead. She made concerted efforts to integrate Greek and Egyptian cultures during her reign. This made her a controversial yet transformative leader, navigating the nuanced intersection of two worlds. As an example, Cleopatra was the first of her dynasty to learn the Egyptian language and actively adopt Egyptian religious practices, bridging the gap between her Greek heritage and her Egyptian kingdom. The Scholarly Queen Though Cleopatra's beauty is often the subject of discussion, her intellect was perhaps her most striking feature. More than just a pretty face, Cleopatra was a polymath who was highly educated in an age when women's scholarly pursuits were often overlooked. She studied under the tutelage of the greatest minds of her time at the Library of Alexandria, one of the ancient world's most significant repositories of human knowledge. Fluent in nine languages, including Greek, Latin, and Egyptian, Cleopatra was also skilled in mathematics, astronomy, and medicine. Her eloquence and wisdom not only won her the respect of her subjects, but also enabled her to engage in complex political negotiations, altering the course of history. Beauty Regime In the realm of beauty, Cleopatra was not only ahead of her time, but perhaps even ahead of ours. Forget serums and face masks, Cleopatra took skin care to a whole new level. She was said to bathe in donkey milk, a ritual that was believed to possess magical anti-aging properties. But she didn't stop there. Cleopatra was also known to use crocodile dung and honey face masks and indulge in wine baths. She even authored a book on cosmetics that has sadly been lost to history but its impact is still felt as it served as a reference for medical texts for centuries. Her beauty rituals, strange as they may seem to us, were deeply rooted in ancient practices and reflected her connection to both science and luxury. Showstopper. Now we come to an episode that captures Cleopatra's flair for the dramatic and the opulent. Have you ever heard of eating your riches? Cleopatra did something even more jaw-dropping. To win a bet with Mark Antony, she dissolved one of the largest pearls of her time in a goblet of vinegar and then drank it. The cost of this single act? Today's equivalent would be millions of dollars. This wasn't just an extravagant gesture, but a calculated display of wealth and power designed to stun and captivate one of Rome's most formidable leaders. Such acts underpinned Cleopatra's complex character, equal parts seductress, scholar, and stateswoman. Grim Realities 
While Cleopatra is often romanticized for her beauty and intellect, her interests were not solely aesthetic or academic. She had a morbid fascination with the darker sides of life, particularly the study of poisons. Operating almost as a toxicologist of her time, Cleopatra conducted various experiments to test the efficacy of different venoms and toxins. She even used condemned prisoners as test subjects, seeking to understand the duration and agony of different poisonous substances. Her knowledge wasn't just for sinister purposes, it also served her politically. Cleopatra armed herself with this lethal information, securing her rule against threats both internal and external. Spiritual Connection Though Cleopatra was of Greek origin, she went to great lengths to immerse herself in the religious and cultural practices of her Egyptian subjects. She was deeply connected to the cult of Asset, Queen of the Throne, one of the most widely venerated deities in ancient Egypt. Cleopatra styled herself as the new Asset, not merely as a political ploy, but as a divine mandate. She was often depicted wearing the crown of Asset and participated in elaborate rituals to honor the goddess. This spiritual devotion wasn't just personal, it was a strategic move to unify her realm, giving her a dual identity as both a living goddess and a worldly queen. Cleopatra's reign can't be fully understood without acknowledging this profound spiritual dimension, which she wielded as yet another tool in her intricate arsenal of power. Rome and after. While Cleopatra's rule and relationships were not confined to Egypt, one of her most significant involvements was with Rome. Cleopatra ventured into the heart of the Roman Empire, not just as a political envoy, but also as a woman deeply entangled in its politics and personalities. She was there during one of the most critical moments in Roman history, Caesar's assassination. Making a hasty exit afterwards, she navigated a turbulent period in Rome, leaving a lasting impression on its leaders and commoners alike. Her relationships with Julius Caesar and later Mark Antony were not merely romantic entanglements, but strategic alliances. Cleopatra's influence extended far beyond Egypt's borders, and her diplomatic skills were as formidable as her beauty and intellect. Her departure from Rome marked the end of an era, but also foreshadowed the beginning of the end for her own rule and the Ptolemaic dynasty. So, there you have it, the multifaceted, enigmatic and endlessly fascinating Cleopatra, a woman far removed from the simplistic portrayals often seen in movies and myths. From her Greek heritage and intellectual prowess to her elaborate beauty rituals and strategic political maneuvers, Cleopatra defied the stereotypes of her time and continues to challenge our own. Her reign was marked by a blend of indulgence and intellect, audacity and spirituality. Though her life ended in tragedy, her legacy endures as one of the most complex and captivating rulers in history. Join us next time as we unearth more unsung tales and bizarre truths from history's treasure trove. If you've been captivated by these riveting details about Cleopatra, then you won't want to miss what's coming next on Freaky Facts, History's Oddities. The enigmatic tycoon Howard Hughes. Make sure to hit that like button, share this video with all your history buff friends, and don't forget to subscribe. Turn on notifications so you'll be the first to know when we drop another episode that delves into the stranger and darker corners of history. Until next time, keep exploring the oddities of history and let your curiosity run wild.